In the recent June session of Parliament, Morobe Governor Kelly Naru raised questions of the increasing concern of the rise in sea level in parts of Morobe and around the country. Governor Naru said it is about time the government consider these issues and make efforts in addressing it. We need to know how to get to these funds so that we can assist our communities. Some of us have in fact put in place contingency plans uh, to move affected communities to safer grounds on the mainland. The Morobe governor described the affected atolls of Finshafen and islands of the autonomous region of Bougainville as sinking ships. Naru says the national government must step in or see communities displaced. And we need to know how uh, we can cooperate uh, and strategize uh, in this to uh, save these uh, island communities. Responding to the question, Environment and Climate Change Minister John Pundari said strategies are in place to address the effects of climate change. However, funding remains an obstacle. Mr. Speaker, finance, as I've said, on the floor of this parliament is a challenge for us. We're working very closely with some of our donors and good friends. And I am uh, sure that uh, we will be able to access some of the funds to helping some of our, uh, our uh, small uh, island communities. In disaster wise, Deputy Prime Minister Leo Dion says efforts to fund disaster relief to provinces were halted due to financial crisis. As far as we are concerned, provincial governments should take certain responsibilities in relation to the allocation of the funding that is it's, it's, it's needed to run those uh, provincial disasters office. Provincial governments and districts have been directed to use the DSIP and PSIP funds to cater for relief supplies. Jack Lapave, Jr. National, MTV News.